Welcome down the rabbit hole, friends. I am not even sure what to say here, but all all I need you to know is that you are about to meet who I think is the most likable player in this crazy drama of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, and her name is Pocahontas Perez. When I think of the name Pocahontas, I mean, what comes to my mind first and foremost, I have to be honest, is Indigenous Massacre. But secondly, it's definitely the Disney movie Pocahontas. And so I feel like when getting involved, going head to head with a woman named Pocahontas, you better be ready to meet her just around the river bend. You know what I mean? And like, there's going to be some wildlife on her side, Ken Urker. So get ready for it. So in my prior video, I just introduced you to to this lovely lady. Her name is Autumn Tara, and she is Ken Urker's little sister. She's quite lovely, as we can see here, and she's all over um, social media talking about Ken and Gypsy and congratulating them on their new bundle of joy when Pocahontas Perez shows up to set everyone straight, (laughs) and Ken Urker can't handle it. Okay, so I got to say, like, my girl Autumn, she is involved, and it's really hard for me. Like, it's hard for me to choose sides between Autumn and Perez. You know, I love them both. Um, But, you know, basically, Perez has a right to say what she's saying. She's questioning, like, what's going on with Ken and this baby and, you know, essentially referring to (sighs) Gypsy as a hoe. (laughs) Let's be honest. And Autumn comes back with this. Pocahontas Perez, what did you do? Have babies that you didn't take care of? Put them off on the same ones that raised you? You can't stop from opening your legs and having babies that you can't take care of. Almost 30, if not already 30 years old. Steady cut here posting on Facebook, showing your literal ass, thinking that shit is cute. When you got daughters out here, where do you get off? I mean, (laughs) Autumn, she makes a good point. (laughs) Where does? Pocahontas get off. All right, so Autumn, it turns out Perez, she has heard the wolf cry to the blue horn moon, and this is what she has to say about it. Pocahontas responds, that damn lady is an evil bee. Bet she set it up, but your brother is no issue, or have you no say? So they made her famous, killing her own mother? Hell no! Hell no. Nah. <laughs> she had options to call 911, but instead... <laughs> Two was too busy getting dicked out. <laughs> she had options to call 911, but instead was too busy getting dicked down. I'm sorry, Autumn, but I mean, Perez is accurate. Like, I know it's hard. It's hard to go up against the truth, but Perez speaks it. Okay, okay. So then this other lady, <laughs> who probably should have stayed out of it, says, Pocahontas Perez, she did. And her mom said she was mentally incompetent. And guess what? They gave her back. The system failed her. But like I said, you're just proving my point that you don't know her anyways. Oh, Jaina, Jaina, Jaina. (laughs) You don't know when to keep your mouth shut. But it's it's definitely when you're surrounded by people like Pocahontas Perez. Um, Pocahontas says she could have said something at the hospital. And then Perez says, and this is one of her better points, I don't feel sorry for her. That poor little boy in jail because of her plan and all. All right. And Jaina, she has not learned her lesson. She responds, key word, the story you hear, not know, grow up. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Pocahontas Perez says, key word, she planned the shit up. Okay, so now it was hard to keep up with everything that was going on here, but I think this is when Ken Urker (laughs) enters the picture, and this is what he has to say. Pocahontas Perez, bruh, at least her kids will have a father around, unlike yours. Maybe you should have held back on three. Alexa, play now you a single mom, (laughs) bro. And Pocahontas Perez says, all my kids have their father. Yeah, I mean, John Smith may be a bastard, but at least he's around. And Ken, we haven't seen, you know, (laughs) what kind of father you're going to be yet that we know of. Then Janie, you know, I don't know what she's doing here. She just won't stop. But she puts up some kind of a meme about um, Barack Obama. I'm I'm not sure how it fits, but, (laughs) you know. You know, but I just have this feeling that Barack is more likely to side with Pocahontas than someone like Ken Urker. 
Okay, so just so that you're aware, it seems like all of these people have been knowing each other their whole lives, like Perez, Janie, Ken Urker. There's some comments that are made that are like, you be, you be acting like you haven't known me since I was in diapers. Like, they seem to know each other in real life. But then this is what Ken has to say to Pocahontas. He says, Pocahontas Perez, being around and sticking around ain't the same thing, brah. Ken, wow. <laughs> you better watch yourself, especially like being on Lifetime. <laughs> Planning to make millions of dollars off this show. You have to be a little bit careful, especially talking to moms. I mean, I think we're the majority of the people that watch Lifetime. But here's what Pocahontas, not to disappoint, here's what Pocahontas had to say in response. She says, and well, you can read it here. Worry about your evil hoe not, you know what, that poor baby. And then I guess this is Ken Urker's only retort. Pocahontas Perez, you should worry more about your profile picture choice. Bruh! <laughs> oh my god, Ken Urker is such a slime ball. Can you imagine, there's a very big YouTuber out there touting all this stuff about how great Ken Urker is and what a piece of crap Ryan Anderson is. Look at what Ken's up to with my girl Pocahontas. Um, yeah, it's a shit show. It's a pretty big shit show. And I just thought I would bring you down this rabbit hole to check it out with me. <laughs> That's all I have to say tonight. I hope you'll join me again next time as we head down yet another rabbit hole.